My biggest concern for women and money is that we continue to focus on getting women back to work and we continue to focus on the gender pay gap. I'm Martina Chung, president of S&P Global Ratings and S&P Global Sustainable One. One of the things that we've seen in COVID is that of the 4 million individuals who left the U.S. workforce in 2020, about three quarters of them are women. So clearly we have a lot more to do to get women back into the workforce. There are very few companies, I think we could say broadly on average, that have people coming back to the office five days a week. How do we make sure that since women tend to take the disproportional share of family care, that they can actually get the same opportunities career wise if they're not in the office, if they're perhaps not as getting as much visibility to leadership and to their colleagues at work. I think over the long term, greater female workforce participation certainly in our view and based on our research can uh, close GDP gaps, whether that's something that can be achieved very short term. I think it's more the macro factors that take precedence. We saw in our studies that uh, more women have expressed interest in investing uh, since COVID. Uh, so I think that's an incredible opportunity really for all of us and for the markets as well. Well, we've certainly seen an increase in women's interest in sustainable investing. Uh, there's been quite a lot of coverage that has highlighted uh, the percentage of uh, investments that uh, women are driving towards sustainable themes, for example. Now, when it comes to investable wealth, uh, our study in 2019 showed that women had about 40% of total wealth around the world. But one of the bright spots that we're very hopeful about is how much wealth will be transferred to women over the next several decades. So there are studies out there that say 70% or so of intergenerational wealth transfer will actually go to women in the next several decades. And, and that's going to be something that's going to increase the investable assets, obviously, and also increase uh, how uh, investments are directed, given that women tend to invest with their values in mind.